All right, partner, for the first time in a few weeks, we do not have a happy ending with the Rams. Uh, number one concern, is there a top concern for you today? Uh, just the blitz is getting home to San Bradford, just the, the lack of protection. Now, they dialed up some blitzes, and Greg Williams and his defense have done a marvelous job against rookie quarterbacks. Today they showed it. They brought a few things the Rams haven't prepared for, bringing those late blitzers, getting to San Bradford. But, you know, if you want to take one positive out of the negative, San Bradford showed a lot of toughness today. He did. He did. Um, Another lesson to be learned, you cannot, on the road against a really good team, fall behind the way the Rams did in the first quarter. 14-0. The Saints had the ball for more than 13 minutes. You've got to get them off the field when you have an opportunity. You couldn't slow them down. Just not enough pressure on Drew Brees. When you did bring the blitz, it was picked up. Then he picked you apart in the back end. When you rush four, not able to get there, that's not a good recipe at home versus Drew Brees. Kansas City's up next. Uh, the Rams can go a long way toward getting to the playoffs and winning the NFC West by regrouping and beating the Chiefs next week at home. Well, it's one thing I learned. Look, a team can pe prepare for what you are or not what you're going to be coming Sunday. So the Rams are going to get better Wednesday, Thursday, and hopefully we'll see a better showing on Sunday. For DeMarco Farr, I'm Steve Savard. That'll do it from down here at the Superdome in New Orleans.